Hello everyone, welcome to KK4Z. My name is Scott and today we are going to talk a, a little bit about synchronizing your computer clock to GPS time and why that's important. It's important because modes like FT8 and JS8 call and FT4 and a few others require accurate time syncing between the receiving and transmitting radios ergo the, the computers that are connected to those radios. They say that if you have a more than a two second time difference between the two stations the um, the modes will not decode or encode with each other. So how do we do that? Well when we're at home it's real easy if you're connected to the internet you just go into your settings time date click sync now and you're done. But what about when you're out at a park or on a mountaintop doing a soda or a pota activation and there is no internet and there is no cell service and therefore you don't have a way to synchronize your computer clock so that you can talk to somebody else using one of these modes. There is a fairly easy way to do it and I'm going to show you real quick on, on how that's done. Uh, you use a, a dongle, a GPS dongle, and I'll show it to you. This is the one I use. It costs about $12 on Amazon. And if you go to my blog, kk4z.com, I'll have a little write-up on this and have all the links. So right now my software I'm using to record this video is not letting me put text in there. But I'll have all that for you. And so right now I'm going to reach over to my laptop and plug it in. Okay, so I've got it plugged into the USB port, and if you look on my screen, I have two pieces of software. Uh, the first one we're going to open up is BKT TimeSync, and again, I'll provide a link for this at my blog where you can get to it, and I'll also provide a link for the GPS. <clears throat> And I have I have made a slight error. So just hang on a second. Uh, one thing you have to do, and I always forget to do this, is you got to do it in administrator mode. That way, it will um, it it will change the clock on your on your computer. All right, let me drag this over here. There it is. Okay. Uh, you pick a COM port for it, and since I don't know what the COM port on this one is, I'll have to do something else. Down here at the Windows bar, you right-click, go to Device Manager, and it is probably 7. And I'll show you real quick what this looks like. So. If you right click on device manager you get up this and these are your COM ports. These two are for my radio and this is for um, for the USB device. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go over here and click on 7 and then I should be able to do a sync now. and Bob's your uncle. You just click sync now and I was off by eh, 48 hundredths of a second. It gives you the time it was synced and so we're good to go. So that, so that was pretty easy. Now as an added bonus and I'm going to make a little noise here because I'm going to turn my, my radio on. As an added bonus for you that have ICOMs, and I'm going to close out of this, is that there's a piece of software, it's ST4003, and I think it's either Alpha or Bravo, or Whiskey, this is Whiskey, so ST4003 Whiskey, it's time adjustment. You open this up. drag it over. It's on my other screen. Let me. And then uh, 
as you can see you've got selections for a lot of your different icon radios right now my 7600 is hooked up and so all I have to do is hit run and boom and now my radio clock is now the radio date and time is now synced to GPS and there you have it uh, pretty easy pretty straightforward Bob's your uncle I hope this helps again it's, it's only for modes that require accurate time syncing within about two seconds and again on my blog kk4z.com I will post the links where you can get these things alright that's it thank you 73's